Hello everyone, welcome back to Fitness, Nutrition and Soul channel and this is your friend Robin. Today we're going to talk about the basal metabolic rate which is also known as the BMR. So how they calculate the BMR? So the BMR is actually generally calculated uh, 12 to 14 hours after the resting. So there is a like in that 12 or 14 hours uh, you haven't eaten anything so you're pretty much on the resting state and lying um, so that's how they calculate your basal metabolic rate so the next one is what is metabolism the metabolism is that every chemical reaction or every reaction pretty much happening in your body which includes your digestion which includes your uh, cell functioning which includes your nervous system which includes your the way the organ not the way the amount of the um, calories the uh, each organs burning including the liver kidney intestine and all so the metabolism is pretty much all the chemical reactions or all the reactions happening in the body um, so let's have a look at how BMR is influenced so BMR to start with BMR actually tells you that how much calories you should eat to maintain lose or gain that one we will discuss about later but first of all let's see that how uh, BMR is influenced so the very first one is the body size so for example if your body is big or if you are bigger size then your BMR would be higher and then the second one is amount of the lean muscle mass for the same reason the um, muscle mass if you got more muscle mass mus the muscles are more active and then you would have the higher BMR as well the third one is the amount of the body fat so if you're carrying more body fat then the chances are you might have the less BMR the fourth one is the crash diet or fasting so if you have done any crash dieting or the fasting actually it decreases your uh, basal, uh, the basal metabolic rate the fifth one is age what they found is that after 20 years old or 21 years old your BMR start dropping down but that only happens because you're losing the muscle mass if you maintain it then it can be still maintained the sixth one is the growth so the childhood because they're growing or any adults if they're going to the gym and they're putting the muscle mass your BMR will be higher the seventh one is the gender uh, male tend to be have higher BMR than the female the eighth one is genetic predisposition. So, for example, you might have noticed that you know some one person eats 2,000 calories, and the another person eats the 2,000 calories. But it could be the chances that the one person gain more uh, weight or fat than the other person, and it all also due to the genetic predisposition. Um, so, the genes plays a very important role that um, how much calories you need the ninth one is the environmental temperature so if you're in a really hot or a cold temperature your body has to work a little bit harder to maintain the normal temperature and that can also affect the BMR the uh, tenth one is the infection or illness so anytime when you get flu or cold or any you feeling the um, sick generally the BMR goes a little bit higher the eleventh one is the amount of the physical activity and that is the most important so when you're more active um, it will increase your metabolic rate so uh, and because it also you because you're burning more calories so for example when you're going to the gym lifting weight uh, especially if you're doing the high intensity training it will increase your oxygen consumption post workout and um, it will also increase your lean muscle mass if you're lifting weight and that will again increase your basal metabolic rate um, the 12th one is the drugs some drugs can it depends it can decrease or increase the best metabolic rate the third one is the deficiency and that's due to the iodine so for example oh there could be other macronutrients as well but here i'm only taking an example of the iodine so if you are deficient of the iodine your thyroid would be into the hypothyroidism and that can actually slow down the metabolism as well so when the person on the higher side of the uh, um, thyroid hormone will have the higher BMR and person with the lower side of the um, thyroid hormone that will have the less BMR and um, I know the numbers but I just can't remember on top of my head all right let's have a look the another factor which which you need to consider when you eat the um, uh, uh, when you decide the diet plan the thermic effect of the food so 
this is a percentage of the amount of the calories that your body spends to digest and absorb and uh, eliminate so your carbs is around five to ten percent so for example if you have consumed 100 calories from the carbs chances are you're only gonna consume you're only gonna uh, um, um, in the the net is only gonna be 90 to 95 with the fat it's zero to five percent but generally the fat is around three percent uh, protein is 20 to 30 percent so as you can see protein is got the a uh, high therm thermic effect and that's the reason some of the bodybuilders that eat try to eat more protein and the alcohol is around 15 20 percent but the way joining the work it out rather than just con considering individual the 10 percent of your calories goes towards the thermic effect of the food so now how you calculate so for example according to my weight the basal metabolic rate is 1600 calories So that doesn't even include the, any digestion, any kind of physical activity, uh, not even standing or anything. So that's how much is the least amount of calories my body needs to just do its uh, internal functions. So then the way you do is then you multiply into the, depend upon the physical activity level, which is also known as the PAL. So the very first one is the bed rest then if you are not really active in bed rest then what you do is you multiply 1600 into 1.2 if you are sedentary you are still a little bit active but not that whole lot maybe 1.4 and then if you are light active like for example you walk standing and you got that kind of job and then you can do 1.6 and then if you are moderate active like you your job is a bit demanding like for example salesman or where you have to walk a lot as a security guard or whatever then you can go up to um, um, same for the 1.6 but if you're walking a lot like a security guard they walk around a lot uh, and if that's the case then you will be moderate active or it could be like if you're lifting the weights then you can also go from anything from 1.7 to 1.8 and then if you are really heavy uh, doing heavy, any heavy, uh, kind of heavy work such as construction work and you're doing like six to eight hours of heavy work and then you then you can go to two to two point five so it's pretty tricky to calculate but um the way you can try is if you want to see that how your body responds so you can start from anywhere from 1.2 to 1.9 and then see how you multiply and, and then that will tell you calories so for example 1600 into 1.5 is 2400 so that's the calories you need to maintain the weight so but if you still if you, if you are eating 2400 calories for, for example for two weeks and you're dropping the weight but you don't want to drop the weight then you go from 1.6 or 1.7 depending upon the body weight but if you want to lose the weight and then your body is actually keeping the weight at 1.5 for example then you can drop to 1.4 or 1.3 depends and that's how you can adjust your calories um, I hope that video really helps and uh, if you have any question regarding the BMR or regarding the setting up the diet or the macro um, please put it in the comment and I will reply you back and that's it guys thanks for watching my video and I will see you next week with another video and another thing is please subscribe my channel and press the notification button and also hit the uh, bell button. Thanks guys. See you next week.